Alpha Protocol is ultimately at its heart a role playing game. Beautiful night. It really has to do with the story and the characters. Have you come to kill me? There's a whole lot of enemies to fight, uh, cool things to find, doors to kick down. You get lots of toys and guns and gadgets. We have the reality that you imagine in your head when you're walking out of a James Bond movie. It's, it's just like, play my blank. Make people just go, holy shit, that was awesome. Everybody talks about story in games and that story is the most important thing, but I think we really hit it. I'd say it goes as far as donkey punching it. The most challenging part of developing Alpha Protocol has been figuring out exactly what we wanted to do with the game and how to focus it on a particular direction. You know, the the spy genre is a very wide open one. So once we got that uh, nailed down and figured out where we were going with it, it, uh, it really came together really well, I think. My favorite thing about Alpha Protocol is actually the dialogue. I think what makes it amazing is see seeing how what you're choosing affects other things down the line. What you do now, huh? Kill me? Let's not get your missiles back. A lot of the uh, the more interesting tense moments in the game come when you uh, when you don't really know what an enemy's um, motives are and what their uh, what their agenda is. You can't stop us. You haven't won yet, asshole. When it comes to the main character, Michael Thornton, we didn't want him to be too good looking. But he is not your prototypical super secret spy, but he's still likable. I can't. You don't know what's going to happen. Neither do you. My favorite secondary character in Alpha Protocol is definitely the German mercenary Z. I think we'll be fast friends, darling. The voice acting for Z was really fantastic. Um, this really great, deep throaty, slow, milky kind of uh, voice direction that um, might make some people tighten the jeans, I don't know. And I thought I might have to work harder. You would if I wasn't tied down. My favorite enemy would have to be Constantine Breko. You came for a fight, you got one, buddy. He's a, uh, a Russian mob boss who is completely obsessed with American 1980s culture. He's got a knife, he's just dangerous. You just never know what he's going to do. My personal favorite gadget is the, the noisemaker. All it does is project a little burst of noise at a distant location. It will cause enemies to uh, to respond as though they've heard the player over there and they'll go and check it out. And it, it, it just can create some really satisfying combos where you you know you can plant a, a, a proximity mine on a wall and then lure people over and blow them up. Yeah, the, the world feels very different just depending on location. You're traveling all over the world and we wanted to make sure that when the players are going from different hub to hub that they know exactly where they are. My favorite set piece in AP would have to be the Rome Museum. I think the reason I love it the most is that you get to shoot up all this cool artwork. Who didn't want to go to a museum and blow stuff up? When people look at Alpha Protocol, they have a hard time understanding how it all fits together. I want to know what you're doing here. Who sent you? Until people play it and see how we've constructed everything and how all of these pieces of the puzzle fit together, they're not really going to get it. Who the heck are these guys? I think when they play it, they will get it, and then they're going to think, wow, this is great. Case of emergency.